So here's one of the most popular freeform objects that ZMAX supports. It's called the Freeform Z object. And you can see it here with uh, laser lights being totally internally reflected right the way down the, the center of the cylindrical pipe. I'm using the object viewer and a cross section plane through it just so you can see through uh, this pipe. And you'll see that this uh, Freeform Z uh, object is made up simply of a number of points, in this case five points, at a set of Z, Y locations. And I've basically set this to be zero and two millimeters, then 10 and two millimeters, 20 and two millimeters, 30 and two millimeters, um, and 40 and two millimeters to make myself a 40 uh, millimeter long cylindrical pipe. Watch now what happens if I just take this point at uh, 10 and just increase that maybe to three. And you'll see now how the, the pipe just bulges out at the centre uh, of that first section like so and then comes back in again. And I can go to the maybe the this uh, Y4 point and make it three as well. And I've made a, a nice kind of double bumped pipe. And if I make this w other Y point three as well, then you'll see how ZMAX fits a smooth line through there. The extremer goes slightly beyond the data points. Let me just make that point there four and you'll see now I get this kind of a pipe like so. So this is a very very straightforward way of defining cylindrical shapes uh, using built-in objects in ZMAX uh, Optic Studio. There's also many many more objects plus an entire part designer which we're yet to discuss uh, that, that uh, go into this and, and give you a great deal of flexibility.